Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will be explaining why do we need a fixture having scope equal to class and how can we implement a fixture having scope equal to class. To explain why there is a problem statement, I will go through the default scope of a fixture. I mean, I'll go through the functionality while I am using a fixture having scope default, that is the function scope. To explain the problem statement, I will uh, I will use an example of accepting the command line argument using fixture. Okay. My test case is actually uh, does the following task. That is, uh, open a browser, open a browser instance, navigate to a particular URL, and get the title and assert the title. Similarly, it is uh, again navigate to another uh, URL and get the title and asserting the title. Okay. This is, these are the two test cases. In both the test cases I have used an argument that is browser driver func. This is actually the fixture I have used. The fixture is responsible to creating the driver instance and, uh, and exiting from driver instance. I will go through the code of fixture. Okay, first of all, this is the PyTest add option. You know, it's a hook function. Here, yeah, it has used the parser as an argument and using parser the add option, it has taken two command line argument. However, I'll be using only one command line argument. Okay. And that command line argument actually stored inside request.config object. So I have taken, I have written here one fixture method that is the browser driver func to get the value of this uh, that is browser option. Okay. Here the browser is a local variable and I have retrieved the command line arguments value from request.config.get option method. So here I have got the browser value and based on the browser value this method is actually creating the driver instance and yielding the driver instance. Then it will be pausing uh, until the execution of all the test cases under the scope of this fixture. Here it is a function as a default scope. So it will be waiting for one test case execution and then exiting from the driver instance. The advantage of this is actually I do not need to remember to exit from the driver instance each time inside the test cases. Here I have just written what I had to do, the, the instance creation and instance exiting from the driver or driver instance. I mean, here actual driver instance means in background it's creating a driver instance. But from the visual point of view, it's creating a web, web browser instance in front of us. The advantage of this is actually I do not need to uh, recall to instantiate the browser and close the browser each time. So it's done all by the fixture. Now what's the problem? Why do we need to go for a class level fixture? I mean a fixture having scope equal to class. Let's run the test. Then we will explain. Here it is, open the Chrome browser. One instance of Chrome browser was open, test was executed and closed the Chrome browser instance. Then again, it has opened another Chrome browser instance, executed the test and closed the Chrome browser instance. There I have included some sleep of three second, three second, but if you see the total time was 24 seconds. Now if we go through the code, you can see that I have to mention the fixture's name in all the test method, all the test method inside the test class. As it is having only two test cases, then it's not that much significant, but when we will be having hundreds of test cases, it will be a huge amount of duplicate coding. 
second point is a big point is i in this two test case we can easily understand we can have open only one instance of browser like say i have open this this instance of browser here okay i have opened this google yeah i will be checking the title of this google this page and again i will be navigating to another url and here i'll be checking the title of this url i do not need to close the instance and reopen the browser to test the second case test cases okay so it's actually consuming the time so this fixture is having one advantage <laughs> that is we do not need to remember to instant initiating the browser instance and closing the browser instance so or it may be say we do not need to recall remember to close the browser instance whatever i have opened that is actually handled by the fixture but uh, the problem arises when it is closing the browser instance after execution of each test cases to avoid this uh, drawback we may go for a larger scope of a fixture here i will be explaining the scope of fixture equal to class i will be explaining the module scope and other scope in later video if i have used the uh, scope equal to class then i could have pension this uh, fixture name inside one place of the class the browser will be initiated uh, instantiated the only once for the portfolio classes all these things all these advantage i'll be getting in this but uh, we need to understand the trick how can we implement the fixture having scope equal to class first of all i will go for the test cases so here in the test class you have to mark the test class using this use fixture by test dot mark dot use fixtures and you have to provide the fixture name with scope equal to class please notice the fixture name having scope equal to class you can mention this fixture name at here you can have mention multiple fixtures name and the uh, using comma separated right so this is my fixture name i have mentioned here <laughs> and this fixture provide us the driver okay so here in each cases i do not need to provide this browser driver fixture name all the test cases argument one advantage and next advantage i will show when i'll be executing the test case let's see this is the test case executions Just open the and the next URLs image. Completed the test execution. So here you can see that it has executed. It has initiated the browser instance only once, and it has executed both the test cases. And total time consumes consumption is eighteen second. Okay, it includes the here the same. Uh, sleeping time I have included here. So here we can see a. It's it seems that it is only six seconds, but if the number of test cases used, then we could have seen a huge uh, difference in between the, this time. So now I will show. How can you implement a fixture having scope equal to class? Uh, this is same uh, as pre before. I have taken the command line argument using these uh, hooks, and that command line argument's value is actually stored inside the request.config object. So I have taken request as a, an argument of this fixture. In this fixture. Uh, I have mentioned the scope equal to class. This is the one point. You have to define the scope equal to class. 
and next point is you have to you have to make the driver available to the whole class whole class means the class the test class which is actually calling or which is actually using this fixture so i have to make this driver i have created the browser driver here to make the driver available to whole test class which is actually calling this fixture i can i have to use this request dot cls attribute dot driver here you can provide any any um, variable name this variable name you have to use inside the test case, test case. <laughs> so request dot class dot driver equal to driver driver is actually our local variable and this driver and this variable is actually the class level variable of this calling test class here you can see the self dot driver okay and the class level variable is also available with the with it instance so i have taken it instance and here it is uh, so i am getting this uh, driver instance for the whole class and it will be waiting as i have these this ill statement so it will be waiting till the executions of all the test cases under the scope of this fixture that is all the test cases inside the test class and then only it will exiting from the driver okay so that we have seen while we have executed our test cases so i hope it will be very much helpful to you thank you for attending this session